Hello, welcome. In this video, we're going to try to solve this problem, and I suggest you try it on your own first. Right? Read the problem, try it out, and then there's a really big marker. I'll fix that, and then press play, and we'll solve it together. Okay, so in this case, they were giving us an expression. It's a rational expression, and they want to see uh, which of these represent the way we can reduce or rewrite this thing. So usually what this involves is factoring. I'm going to factor my numerator and my denominator. So in the denominator, I can see that x squared factors out of both terms. x cubed divided by x squared is just x, and then 2x squared divided by x squared is just 2. Okay, we factored that out. Now up top here, I'm going to factor out a negative 1 first, because I feel a little confused by the negative 3x squared. Just factor it out completely. So I'm factoring negative 1 out. OK. And then, leaving that negative 1, I'm going to actually bring the negative 1 in the front here. It doesn't change any value. I'm just going to bring the negative 1, writing a negative sign in the front. And now I can factor the numerator. We're going to have a 3x something something, and then just an x. Then we're going to have an x squared times an x plus 2. So here we need factors of negative 6 to add to 5. So that's going to be, uh, let's say, 3 times so 2 and 3. That does not do it. Let's fix that. And let's see here. This is going to be 3x squared. This is going to be a 6x. Let's do minus 1 and plus 2. So 3x squared, check it out, plus 6x minus x is plus 5x minus 2. That works. So with this all set up, these two terms cancel to 1. And what you're left with is 3x minus 1 over x squared with a negative, don't forget your negative sign up front. So that's going to be equal to, if I'm going to redistribute that negative sign, because I don't see this exact answer as it's written, negative 3x plus 1 over x squared. Now, in this case, this is very close to what they have written here, but it's, it's not quite the same, right? So, what's going on? Well, in our case right here, um, this is out because it's actually different. And we'll come back to 1 and see if that works. I don't, I don't see how to make that happen, but we can use our laws of exponents here. We can say that up top we have 3x plus 1, so both negative, uh, negative 3x plus 1, so negative 3x is being divided by what's on the bottom. It's being divided by x squared, and so is the 1. So this is really what we're dealing with. It's the same thing written in a different way. And x over x squared, this x cancels with this exponent to 1. We have negative 3 over x plus 1 over x squared. And our laws of exponents tell us that essentially if we have 1 over x, that equals x to the negative first. So here's our 1 over x. This is like negative 3. This is like negative 3 times 1 over x. Same thing. And over here, we have 1 over x squared. So using this definition, we can say that this is x to the negative 1. So it's negative 3 times x to the negative 1. And this is just x to the negative 2. And there's our answer. Now there's no way that I can see to get the other two to work, so they fall out. And the answer is four. All right, I hope that helped.